Today's video is going to be a little bit informative. I'm going to tell you about transportation here in Nottingham and three ways to go around for free. The local link bus is free for university students. So if you show your student card, you can hop on one of those local link buses for free. I wish I knew that. I didn't know before. You see this bus? That's the Medlink bus and you can travel for free if you are an NHS student or NHS worker. You just have to show your NHS ID card. You can travel from QMC Hospital all the way to Nottingham City Hospital or vice versa. And there are many stops in between. The other way to travel for free, again for students, I'm sorry for the rest, is Hopper Bus, which belongs to the University of Nottingham. You can go around the campus, plus you can travel to Sutton Bonington and Derby Hospital. To summarize, free bus service here in Nottingham for NHS workers and NHS students and university students. The main bus service here in Nottingham is Nottingham City Transport and there are so many colourful buses that take you in so many different places around Nottingham. Apparently it's one of the best bus service in the country but you're not here to know all that useless stuff. You're here to know the... the... let me show you. The prices can increase in the future and one thing I've noticed is that Leicester is slightly expensive compared to Nottingham. For example, a one-day ticket here in Nottingham is £420 and Leicester is £440 for a one-day ticket. A one-day ticket means that you can travel unlimitedly and you can take any bus you want as long as it's Nottingham City Transport, the same company. There are many other bus companies here in Nottingham such as the ones that travel from Derby to Nottingham and vice versa the buses that go around Nottingham Shea from the city centre to Nottingham Shea meaning that Nottingham is the city and Nottingham Shea is the outskirts of the city We also have another bus that goes from here all the way to East Midlands Airport Another one that goes to IKEA for example I have never taken that bus but uh, I will At the city centre of Nottingham, we have the train over there, the tram behind me right after getting off the train and then we also have the National Express behind me and for those who don't know, the National Express is one of the most popular coach companies that takes you anywhere in the UK. take the train to go to London or anywhere you like. I personally take the train to go to Leicester. I never took the train to go to London. To go to London I travel by coach which is cost effective, cheaper but it takes longer whereas the train takes only an hour and something. I'm going to go to the main entrance to show you the different type of tickets and prices. I'm going to link down below the website where you can check out for yourself since the prices are not the same, are not fixed 
and they vary depending on the type of ticket when you book whether in advance or the day before traveling different times of the day check that out and have a nice trip Commuting from Leicester to Nottingham is definitely doable. I did it last year, but I took the train from Leicester and I took the bus in Nottingham. But you can also take the train from Leicester and take the tram instead, which is quicker. And it stops directly at University Park campus and at QMC, which is the hospital where medical and health science students study. Another way to travel is by tram. This is the machine and we are going to look at the different types of tickets. The last time I took it was last year so I don't remember how much the tickets cost but it's cheaper than taking the bus. Another way of traveling in Nottingham now is by using e-scooters or electric scooters. If you want to travel long term, it's 30 pounds per month. Short term, it's 12p per minute. I've read online that these were introduced last year at the end of 2020 to promote social distancing and people use these e-scooters to go to work and come back from work. I see so many people using electric scooters and the only one who hasn't is me. I forgot to mention that these scooters have a helmet included. Plus, they have a mini parking area now. It's so cute. Cycling here in Nottingham is very common. You'll see many people cycling, students, workers. I'm not sure cycling is considered as part of public transport, but you can buy a bike or even rent one. Before hiring a bike in Nottingham, you have to make your registration at City Card Cycles website, which is linked down below. And you can also check the prices. The other way is by boat. <laughs> Obviously I was joking, you have to own a boat since these are private. Alternatively, you can always ask the owner if you can rent one. Or if you have the money, you can buy one, travel around Nottingham with your boat and live in it. Hi, can they be rented? Um, only if you ask the owner of the boat. Oh, okay. But they probably won't because they, they actually live on them. Okay, that's fine, thank you. So. I hope this video has helped you better understand the type of transportation we have here in Nottingham. Obviously, we can also get around by Uber, taxi, by plane if you want to travel outside of the city. We have an airport called East Midlands Airport. Okay, so it's questions time. <sighs> On my previous video, I asked you a question, love or money? And my personal answer would be love. When I have a partner, not only I'm going to have companionship, which is one of the most important things for a human being, but also if we share the same goals and we are ambitious together, we can work towards our goal, which is to become rich 
open a business and conduct many projects together and become financially free we can start from the bottom and eventually have love first and then money later on that doesn't mean i'm going to leave my partner after becoming rich it means our relationship would be much stronger because we would have gone through the same obstacles together i decided to ask you questions to know you better and share ideas and understand how you think there is no right or wrong answer it's just a matter of preference we are all different and i enjoyed reading your comments since we talked about transportation in today's video my question for you is how do you like to get around how do you like to travel for example mine is by train i get to see beautiful sceneries it's more relaxing and less stressful compared to taking the plane i mean yes the plane takes you far away and quick but it's more stressful you know check-ins and check-outs showing passport showing documents tickets and queuing <sighs> traveling by plane for longer hours give me headaches and migraines so that it's not for me and then questions you have for me is let's start by Erirni Skura. I hope to have pronounced your name correctly. You asked me how many years I've been living in the UK and was it easy to make friends? I've been living in the UK for six years, in Leicester first and then in Nottingham. I haven't been living in Nottingham for many, for a long time. I came here in September 2020 for my studies and was it easy to make friends? Five years ago it was easy because I already knew people living in Leicester and plus at a young age I think it's easier to make friends and then as you grow your priorities change and true friendship is really hard to find. In the UK people are nice and friendly but more reserved and introverted compared to warmer countries such as Spain, Italy, Turkey there people are more extroverted and more approachable but it's not impossible to make friends here in the UK it depends on your personality and if you're more outgoing and you look for and you actually search for friends you search for people to talk to i'm sure you're going to find people personally speaking i find it harder because i'm picky i'm reserved i'm an introvert socializing with new people is not my priority next question is from max what camera gear do i use for my youtube journey i've always been recording with my iphone 11 it's perfect for the type of videos i make it's good quality it has two lenses wide and narrow it's not heavy and it's easy to carry around and i have everything in one thing i can make and receive phone calls i can send messages i can be on social media and make youtube videos using the same object i also have other accessories such as tripods and microphone they are all in the description box that's all for today Thank you for watching and I hope to read some of your answers to my question. If you have questions to ask me, leave them in the comment section below. As always, see you in the next video.